Speaking of which, how do we want to start the retired years? You know what? Let's start it with a little bit of action, you guys. Uh, how many of you people out there are Mortal Kombat fans? Did you enjoy the first one? Was the second one slightly confusing and sucked mildly? We'll get you ready once suck. we see the third one. It'll suck outrageously. The second one was amusingly suck. You can watch it and laugh no, at I know. it. Like it, it was good, but we all know they had the same dynamic, so it, it worked. This one was it was trying to be a triple A movie, but it was a B rate. Like, yeah, like it's the writer's first movie, so I mean, it should have had more of Mortal Kombat. Oh, you know, okay. like you. It's Mortal Kombat. It's not dudes fighting random people, and you must know the entire plot of the story and figure it out if it's a reboot. Again, reboot. So the the writer and the directors in the studio said they wanted to do it a little bit different so uh, it was easier for new people to come into it. Uh, and spoilers, I don't think it was easier for new people to come in with it because no, it, that made it, it harder. It opened up with like Sub Zero attacking Scorpion's family, and and fucking Sub Zero is like for the Lin Kuei and Scorpion's for like for the <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, it's like if you didn't, if you don't already know what the fuck they're talking about, you're gonna not have any and idea. they never explain it exactly. And then on on top <laughs> of it, the only good thing, and this is what kind of upset me, like I kind of like that build up from the jump it was like okay you're giving me a little bit of background where are you gonna go from here like you you have ever you have open possibilities you haven't fucked it up yet yeah now, the, that open now when, when you think about it and they sit and then you're like okay all right you're chinese you're japanese i like that you you're adding some diversity here raging cultures okay all right that's a thing maybe sure and I then mean, that was a thing in 1400 i believe it Japan. was but you know you know what i mean now you just start going all over the fucking place. Okay, the baby. I get the baby. Now the baby's an adult. All right, cool. The baby's got a family. All right, now he's a pussy. All right, he's a pussy. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, Sub-Zero's really just this all-powerful being that's stronger than fucking everybody? I don't think so. <laughs> Lives for like 600 years. Yeah, you know, like he's just, he's just invincible man. Well, no, he obviously died and became like There's like a eight generations whatever, of but, like... <laughs> yeah, but it's like, Really? Really, Sub Sub Zeros is just like. No, really... I think they were all dead and brought back, yeah. by Shang Tsung. No, of course, but it was just like really, this dude is that um, powerful? Look at that. But here. my man Kano right here, and we're gonna give a second for him to play this shit. I wins, <laughs> and we're back. He was the MVP of that whole movie. Like I think it was like an average film. I give it like a five out of ten. If you took Kano out of the way, it'd be like a two or a one. He he he's, he gets like three or four Do points. Do you give all it that much stuff? <laughs> He's like, I don't even do give it that really much. Wanna, do you re- do, 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 do you really want I give it that much because, like, do you really want to give it that much? Though, so like, come so on. So it was an average film. It was a decent average. film. I'd give it probably like a four and a quarter. Four and a quarter is what you get for me. And you yeah, know what? Three of those points were Kano. No, no. And here's here's where I'm upset. You had a couple fight scenes at the end of that. We were like, all oh, right, let's show them some other realms a little bit. You know, like, here's a glimpse. That's all you get. Like, 15 seconds. Like, where's the other fucking realms, man? I wanted to see some, like, wormhole fucking grabbing in the weird ball sphere thing, spinning down some shit. I wanted to see some cool shit. I wanted to see them going through some statues that came to life. Like, where's all the cool shit? Where's all the shit that made the thing cool? this should have been the the tournament on Earth. Like, that's what this movie should have been about, the beginning. maybe that was the tournament on Earth, was just them coming to fucking fuck up the... Like, still, it was terrible. No, they... they, It wasn't deliverable. Where's my cool ship? I wanted a cool ship. No, it was the, oh, the actors oh. were horrible. I mean, some of them were, were decently cast. No, they, like but not, they were none, written. None of them. The only the only one that held any ground was fucking Kano. No. <laughs> Kano, Sonya, and Jax's actors, and the actor for um that played the 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 new guy that you're supposed to like. It's supposed to be the audience surrogate that pretty much said nothing the whole movie. They're all excellent actors. The like the 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 first three I mentioned, they were like casted like especially Kano, but they were casted perfectly for the roles. But Jackson Sonya was sidelined for most of the movie. Yeah, like, <laughs> <it's> like <laughs> I'm just <sighs> if without like without Kano, that movie would have been sucked. The, the... And, and I'm sorry, like you know, little details for instance, like when we get to rating, like all right, I like the white whoever it was, the guy that was Skylander, whoever that was fucking. Uh, rated in the original. I just liked how his character was portrayed. You know what I mean? He delivered it well. And his eyes weren't fucking lightning all the time. Now this time, just straight lightning. His eyes just like really do it. It looks so fucking fake. You're getting, it you're getting on rated, right? So we're in this like 
fucking fucking 12th century abandoned monastery temple thing in the fucking and it carved into a fucking stone rock face right yeah and using magic and shit what the fuck was that like techno sphere thing in the middle that looked yeah, like it and was... why, and why wasn't Raiden you know like back in the original like have enough balls where the other guys were like all right we'll do it the right way and just back off and do it the fucking right way they made their presence that was a good build to reverse and fucking have the real thing happen and fix whatever fucked up thing that people had started hating the movie about it, nope, it, it, just continue to shit it downhill for you all those listening it's it's hard to describe this thing but uh, this is what it looks like for you guys watching. But it was if like you a... shit in a bag and you hold it close to your face and you breathe deeply <laughs> for two minutes. And then after breathing deeply for two minutes, you slightly taste it just with your tongue. You'll understand. The I was talking about this the weird techno thing in Braden's like ancient temple thing. But it was like a dome and then it had one of those like Tesla coil things that came up. It was it, they, they, they focused on it like throughout a bunch of shots. I thought maybe he was using it to power that force field he made. But then Kano shot his staff to take down the force field. And I'm like, OK, then what the fuck is that thing in the no, main no, room? Like, some Me Too person probably made it. And they were like, <laughs> we have to put it in the middle. It has to be a focal point or else we're going to get sued. <laughs> so fucking do it. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know shit like that happens. I spent so much time on this. Uh -oh.